Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. Today is What's New Tuesday, but on Monday. And we're going to look at the brand new tank that was available that I found called the Mantis. So check this out. This will be very interesting. Won't take very long to explain what's going on here. So now they have a brand new Mantis tank that comes out on Halloween morning. Tuesday. So what is it? Well, the Mantis tank is a tier eight, what a shocker, mercenary tank. And it has a four shot autoloader, which is okay, I guess. It looks really good though. This tank looks a lot like it would be the tank the Punisher would use. So let's look at this. You have that skull logo on top, not the Punisher skull logo, but it is very similar. I mean, it's a skull. I mean, how much different can it be? You know, a lot of extra gear on there. Nice looking tank. Kind of okay-ish armor, I guess. You know, it doesn't look anything special to me, but, you know, I have a better tank than this. It's called the Astron Rex. And the Astron Rex has a killer tank armor on the turret. It has a five-shot autoloader compared to this one's four-shot autoloader. And it also has a 50% commander bonus in every match. So I would never want to have this tank because why would I play this when I have a 50% commander bonus Astron Rex, which is a freaking killer tank. In fact, the Astron Rex is a tank where I have a Radley Walters medal with eight kills in one match. So... It's a fantastic tank. Cheaper than this from the store. The last time it was available was like 5,500 gold, something like that. But this is nice looking. Okay. I got to give it, you know, credit where credit is due. Nice looking tank. Now check this out. Look at these awesome bundles. Okay. You can't see my reaction, but. Here we go. Look, this is the basic Mantis. Uh, I mean, again, nice looking tank. That's in the, you know, environment of the game. Fine. Mantis base tank. 8,900 gold. Guess what? That's 100 gold more than the Roswell Halloween tank. You figure it out for yourself. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to tell you what I think of it. Mantis loaded. You get the Mantis tank. Seven days of premium time, which is awesome, except that I tell you how to get infinity days of premium for free. So go watch that video. So I don't think you'll be selling too many of these. Times four commander experience booster times 20. Those are fantastic. They sell those about one week a month for 850 gold. And I highly recommend buying. These are the best ones to buy, actually, for the price. You get the best bang for your gold. There's also times three vehicle boosters times 20. Again, they sell these for one week a month, usually uh, about the same price of 850 gold. So you can buy the Mantis Loaded if you want to spend 11,300 gold. Here's a super sucker pack. I mean, uh, this is the scam package. I mean, uh, this is the most expensive package they offer. Yes, that's it. You can get the Mercenary Tank Mantis. You could get, ooh. Advanced optics. Now you can pay for this in silver in your garage, but here you get to pay gold for it. Isn't that awesome? It also comes with a gun stabilizer. Once again, another excellent piece of equipment you could pay for with silver in your garage. But here, once again, you get to pay gold for it. There's an advanced loader. Ooh, isn't that awesome? You can pay for this with silver in your garage, but here, you're going to pay gold for it because, well, that's what they think of you. They think of you as someone who's going to fork over gold for something that's available for silver. Once again, seven days of premium. Fantastic. Too bad they're charging you gold for it. Go watch my video. Learn how to get your, your premium time for free. And we have the times four and times three commander boosters, which are excellent. And those are good, but you can buy those separately. So, all of this could be yours for a whopping 13,500 gold. 
So if you want to buy this package, that's fantastic. Do I think this is a good deal? Absolutely not. I don't think any of these tanks is a good tank packages is a good deal because you can get better tanks. Because what's going to happen? Here's what's going to happen. You're going to buy this tank if you buy it. We're speaking figuratively. And then you're going to go and get to play tier 10 matches with it. Awesome. Wait a minute. That's not what you really want to do. You want to have a fair match between tier 8s. Now, if they sold if they sold these tanks to where you could play, you could select tier 8 matches only. Fantastic. And I say tier 8 only. I mean tier 8 only. No 7s, no 6s. I don't need to be a bully to fight inferior tanks. I'd rather just play 8 versus 8, 9 versus 9, 10 versus 10. But I guess I'm the weirdo. I would have the setup where I could get extra experience if I went up against higher tanks. So if I had a box to say, would you, you know, play a match tier eights only, bammo, I'd play that. And if you had an option that said, hey, click this if you want to play eights and or nines and get extra experience, that would be a great box to have an option because it, if, if you have that ability, you could go and try it yourself. And the same thing if you had, would you like to earn even potentially more experience by playing your tier eight ten? your tier eight tank against tier nines and tier tens. That would be another awesome option. Why don't they do that? Well, I can tell you why you could probably figure it out for yourself because they want to trick you into going up higher and higher. You're going to have the tier eight and see the problem is you're not going to have this tier eight and go do this is the most awesome tank I could play and I need to stop and never go any further. That's not what they want. They want you to keep going and chasing this shiny thing to try and get satisfaction instead of saying, you know what, let's just have legitimate matches that are tier versus tier of the same tier. They have those matches in tier twos. They have those in tier three. They have those in tier four. And I've seen a rare few instances where they have it in tier five. But mostly they have mixed ones. And that's to have people be bullies in tanks against lower people to try and trick them into going into something higher. Hey, you get that higher level tank, you're going to be tougher. You're going to face exactly the same setup, but the numbers are going to change. Instead of you being in a three and the bully being in a four, you're going to be in a four and the bully is going to be in a five. Well, I'll just go to five. Well, and then that's fantastic because you'll be in a five and the bully will be in a six. Well, okay, then I'll just get a six. Okay, that's fantastic. You get to be in a tier six tank, and then the bully is going to be in a tier seven. Man, this gets old. This never stops, does it? Oh, yes, it does. It stops when you get to tier 10. But you won't make any silver in those matches. Wait a minute. Well, that's not cool. Hey, I'm just telling the truth, man. That's all I do. So I think this is a horrible deal for a tank. If you feel a need to buy something that you don't have, that you want, go get something else on a super savings. There's not a single tank that they have in tier eight that I've ever bought for full price. Why would I do that? That's not a smart move at all. It's quite terrible, actually. You'd be much better off buying the season pass ultimate. Get that ruthless tank. That would be fantastic. That's just one example, because that's a tier 10. You're not going to play anybody higher than you, just people of the higher skill than you, if you're not any good. And see, that's the problem. They're trying to trick people who aren't good and offer them a shiny new little toy that will make them competitive with guys who are actually way better than them. Wrong. That's not how it works. You're going to have to get skills to get better. Buying a tank doesn't make you better. Hey, I'm just... Speaking the truth, that's all. So I don't recommend you buy any tier eights for full price ever. 
get them for half price, and then you're like, okay, that's that's fair. Now, I like the Astron Rex. Astron Rex is a tier eight. It plays tier tens. It's true. I've gotten some tier ten MVPs. I'm not the greatest medium tank player by any stretch, but it's good enough where I can score sometimes. It's not my expertise area, but it's a fun tank to play, and it's great 50% bonus for commander. Same thing if you want a great 50% bonus commander medium tank. T25 Vengeance, another great tier 8 tank. It doesn't have an autoloader. It's got a straight regular gun. It's fantastic, too. So I'm just giving you some examples of things that are actually better than this. Now, they don't look as good as this. You know, this has that killer black Punisher look to it, and it's fantastic. But I can pass on that. So just to throw it out there, let you know that every week when they bring out a brand new Tier 8 tank, it's the same scam as this. I figured I might as well tell you, let you look at it and go, oh, yeah, that's not cool. It looks cool, but it's not cool. So... Eh, whatever. You know, save your money. Buy your ultimate season pass. Instead of buying this thing for 8,900 gold, buy the next ultimate season pass and get whatever brand new tank they give you. Fantastic. Can't go wrong. Be smart. Shop S smart. And if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. So I hope you enjoyed this very honest and revealing look into the brand new tier eight sucker tanks. Don't be a sucker. So please leave a like for this video. Tell your friends, let them see what this is about. Let them learn about the sucker tanks and maybe they'll leave a like or a subscribe, subscribe as well. I got plenty more Halloween videos to make because those games are fantastic. So got to go. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying Halloween. we got another week coming up. It's fantastic. Do play the Halloween tanks in a platoon of three people. Trust me, this is the way to go. It's so much more fun. You will thank me later or not. But virtually you'll go, wow, he was right. That was so awesome because you and your friends are going to have a great time winning and also losing because sometimes you lose in hilarious fashions and that is just awesome. So... Enjoy your Halloween, and I look forward to see you guys later, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, uh, or the day after that. So i got to go make some more videos, and I'll be back as soon as possible. See you later.